multiplication using the associative and commutative properties. When we're multiplying, the ordering does not matter and the grouping does not matter. The numbers can be rearranged and can be grouped in any way, as long as they're all multiplied together. The ordering and the grouping doesn't affect the answer. So, as you see here in this example, if I do the 2 times the 3 and multiply it by the 5, we can work that out. 2 times 3 is 6, then multiplied by 5 is going to give me a 30. And over here on the right-hand side, the 3 times the 5 is in parentheses. If I do the 3 times 5 first, I get 15. And then doing 2 times 15 still gives me a 30. The, whether I have the 2 and the 3 grouped or the 3 and the 5 grouped doesn't make a difference. So the association doesn't matter. And the ordering doesn't matter. I can rearrange the numbers to multiply uh, and still get the same answer. That fact can be used to multiply numbers more quickly and easily sometimes. So watch how I do these examples. I have 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. I'm going to look at the 2 and the 5 right there because that's easy. 2 times 5 is 10. And having a 10 makes the problem easy. Then if I look at the 4 and the 3, I get a 12. And so my, my problem has been changed to 10 times 12, which is real easy to do in my head. I get an answer of 120. So just by grouping the 2 and the 5 together, and then the 3 and the 4 together, it makes that one easier. Same thing happens over here. Watch this. If I look at the 4 and the 25, 4 times 25 is 100. And then I still have to multiply the 7 and the 3. That gives me a 21. So I can think of this as 21 times 100, which is 2100. Down here, the 5 and the 2 multiply to give me a 10. And so I have 10 times 6 times 10. And I could do that in my head. 10 times 6 is 60. And then multiplying that by 10 gives me 600. And then over here, I look when I look at these numbers, I see the 2 and the 50. 50 times 2 gives me 100. And so I'll have 100 times 3 and times 8. 8 times 3 right there is 24. So I have 100 times 24. And again, I can do that in my head, 2,400. So no need to pull out a calculator. Doing problems this way, grouping them, and getting answers quickly is probably more accurate than using a calculator, just because it's really actually kind of easy to hit the wrong number, make a little typographical error on the calculator. But I can look at this, and without typing anything, I know that 2 times 50 is 100. And I know that 8 times 3 is 24. And I don't even, even need a calculator to check this. I know that 24 times 100 is 2,400. And I can get that answer almost immediately. In the time it takes me to go find my calculator, I could have done most of these problems. So the point there, again, is look for groups of numbers that make sense. If the, num if the digits or the numbers are all multiplied together, sometimes they can be rearranged in a way that makes the problem substantially easier.